Hey guys, Dragon here from MuseShop.net and today we're talking about the Snazzy Maps Ultimate Muse widget. This is a top tier maps muse solution which lets you create practically unlimited types of maps for your muse projects. It comes with carefully selected theme colors but you have an option to create unlimited map styles. It supports up to 100 locations on a single map. You can use custom icons for your locations and it comes with icon collection which you can use to adjust the colors and insert your logo if you want. Then we've completely redesigned the pop-up window with custom animations and neatly sorted information with a custom image for each location, a slick animated design, it supports linking to external websites or other Muse pages and it's an overall a top tier and professional solution for all of your map needs. There is a variety of built-in map color themes, but as I've said, you can create your own custom map styles using snazzy maps and you can have practically unlimited number of map styles. Okay, so let's go into Muse and see how the widget works. As you can see, you have the main widget here which supports 100 locations but this main widget is advised only for projects that require you to have 100 locations and note that it will run more slowly than these other widgets so let's say if you have five or less locations you should use this one if you have 10 or less you should use this one and so on let's say i want to insert five locations on my map I'll simply drag the widget on the canvas and the first thing we need to do is set the locations. So straight away let's click over here and get our latitudes and longitudes. This is a neat website called mapcoordinates.net. If you've used our previous snazzy maps widget you are familiar with it. Basically you take this little pin and you can place it right on top of your house or your company and you'll have the latitude and longitude for your location. Now since we're using multiple locations we'll need to center our map. So let's say I'm having my five locations set around here and let's say I want, to, I want to center my map over here I will take the pin and release it exactly where I want to have the center of my map like this then I'll copy the latitude go back in Muse and over here you have the map center location that's where you paste in the coordinates for your map center let's grab the other one I'm copying and pasting right now. Make sure to select the minus as well over here and paste. Okay, now we have our map center. The next thing we should do is load our map icon image. And as I've said, this widget comes with a collection of icons. So you can choose from our collection or you can design your own custom icon and just load it through here. Let's say I need this icon. And now the icons should appear on the map. Okay, so this is our center of map. And these are just already built-in locations for the five locations. Now let's say we have three locations. Then we set the number of locations to three. And setting this will disable the locations four and five over here, as you can see. So that's our center. Let's go back to map coordinates. And let's say I have one shop over here. I will drag this over here. You, you can zoom over here if you want. So let's say here, this building is my building. I'll copy the coordinates. And where it says locations input, this is where you insert all your information regarding your individual locations. So let's paste in the coordinates for our location one. Okay, now let's set the other two locations. Let's say we have another, another shop right over here. Okay, let's copy the locations. 
the coordinates. This is for location two. Okay, now we have these two locations. And let's say I have a third one somewhere around here. Something like this. Okay, let's paste that in for our third location. And now we have three locations over here. You can notice how they seem too close to each other. Well, we can fix this by zooming in. So you should, after you paste your locations in, you might want to recenter your map so it perfectly aligns your locations. And then you should set the zoom so you have a nice spread of, of the icons across your map. Okay, so we can zoom over here and you do that by setting the map zoom option. Let's try 16. Too much. Let's try 14. Okay, we can do one more. That's 15. And you can notice my icons have moved down and we can't even see the two of them. So that means we need to recenter the map. Let's just copy the first location coordinates and make them our center of the map. Okay. This is our first location and this is our second and third. I'd probably like to have my map centered somewhere over here. There are two ways of doing this. Either you should play with the numbers right here within the widget or simply look at the street names and then go back to map coordinates. So let's say Bond Street and Bowery Street. Okay, so let's see if we can find those over here. Here is Bowery and we're looking for Bond Street. Here they are. Okay, let's take another look over here. Let's say we want our center to be right here, something like this. That would be something like so. Let's copy these coordinates, paste them back into our widget as a center. Okay, this looks awesome. Now I can even zoom in one more time or two more times. Let's just see. That's it. This looks great. But one thing you should keep in mind, the zoom you set should work for all your layouts for desktop, mobile and so on. So let's say if we have our minimum breakpoint width of our website set to 320, these guys shouldn't exit those boundaries. Except when you have like 50 locations or so, then you might want to have like 20 visible and if your visitors zoom out and the other ones should become visible. So let's zoom out. Yeah, this looks great. Okay, next we have the options for our info window. And let's just preview this now. Okay, here's our map. And if I click, a uh, preview window pops up. What you can do here is set an image for each of your locations. Then you can have the location title here is the additional information about the particular location and you can have a website link. So let me show you how you can insert this information inside our Muse widget. For the first location, you have the info heading. This is our location title. So let's say my store. Okay. And this is the location description. If you see over here, that's this part of the text. And the only thing you should worry about here is how enter works. So how you get into the next row or how you insert a line break. And because this is HTML, simply pressing enter won't do. And that's why we have intentionally left these marks here for you so you can use them. So this, what I've highlighted over here, basically tells our widget that this here is a line break. So you can copy this and use it wherever you want your text to jump to the next line. Okay. And for the link, if you're linking to an outside website, you should simply copy the link and paste it over here. Or if you have a, pres a presentation for each location 
within your Muse project, then you simply need to enter the page name. So if I'm linking to, to this page, notice the file name has all small letters and dashes instead of spaces. So this is what you need to type in. So let's get back to our widget. And as I've said in the link, you can only type my new page and add dot html at the end because this is an actual web address of your page and this over here is your link text you can have visit website or visit facebook page or whatever you want or simply translate it to your own language and finally we have the image for the location i have i already have some images over here so i've loaded everything for the first location let's preview and here it is. This is my store. This is the description text and the link. If I click, you can see it tries to go to the my new page.html. If I had such a page on my website, it would show it. So each location has all these options. Next, we have the map zoom. You already know how this works. And additionally, you have the option to use the mouse wheel for zooming or not. Now we have our map style. You can choose from our carefully selected map styles. Let's say I want the dark gray one. Simply select it and voila. And of course you have an option to use a custom style, which is a bit more tricky now since Snazzy Maps changed their code and Muse has a limitation on how much text you can paste inside a widget, which basically means that for a custom style, you will probably need to use two or three chunks of your style in order to generate the entire style. But don't get confused, I'll show you in an example. So firstly, let's click here to get to snazzy maps and let's explore styles. So let's say I like this one. What you see over here, this is the code for your style. So if I click expand code, you can see it shows the entire code. I'll copy all of this, go back to Muse, and in the map style, you should select custom. Now you can see that custom map style parts over here have become available. And if I paste it over here, you notice that it doesn't end the same way as it ends over here. That's because Muse doesn't have the capacity to receive this amount of text in one field. So what we need to do is we need to compress our code and to divide it in chunks small enough that Muse can handle them. And to do this, you have the helpful links over here. One is for code compression and one is to count the characters so it doesn't exceed 1048 characters, which is a maximum that Muse can handle. So let's click here where it says compress code. Okay, let's click JS over here and paste our code. You can say minify and you see how it nicely squashes the code. The next thing we should do, click over here where it says to count characters, click here. This is a neat tool for counting your characters. And let's copy this and paste it over here and click count characters. You can see that we've just exceeded our 1048 allowed characters by 300 characters. So let's split this up. Let's say copy the code from here and let's recount it. We need to take less. Okay. Okay, 978 characters. Muse can handle that. You can click uh, Ctrl A to select all over here, then copy it. Go back to Muse. This is our first chunk or first part. Okay. And for the second part, just copy the rest of your code over here. Like this. We don't need to count it because we already know it'll fit. And let's paste this into our second part of the style. And a map should appear now. And here it is. This is a custom style loaded through our Muse widget. So once again, to load a custom style, Set this to custom style, then click on snazzy maps to find your style over here. You click the expand code, then you copy this entire code. The next thing you do is compress it over here, set this to JS. And when you compress your code, you can count it over here and make sure that your parts of the code don't exceed 1048 characters. It sounds more complicated than it is. 
and finally we have the info window style and that that's our pop-up window when you click on a marker you have two options let's return our map style over here to dark gray and if i preview a default option is a light pop-up window which you can see right here and if i change it i can choose a dark color theme to match my dark map styles so if i preview now you can see we have a dark pop-up window which looks awesome with dark maps and you can set the link color and link hover color which also is assigned to this x button over here so let's say i want them to be blue i'll do something like this maybe a more natural blue and let's say this is my link hover color now if i preview here's my link and that's the hover color and this is the same color as my link so this is the snazzy maps ultimate widget it'll let you create awesome stuff and handle some highly paid projects like chain stores tourist agencies it's basically aimed for any company that needs a custom branded and styled map with as many as 100 locations on a single map which is awesome for restaurants shops beaches tourist attractions and so on so that's it